reeling from the vicious damage from previous storms, scramble for food, clean water, and power. Can they handle another major hurricane? Tonight, the Caribbean is bracing for its second major hurricane in two weeks. For some islands, an unprecedented blow. I mean, wow, look at this. On St. Martin, we saw firsthand the devastation that Irma caused. These are sizable yachts, and yet to the storm, they might as well have been tinker toys. On this dock alone, millions of dollars in damage. So this is a $10 million boat, yeah. and the insurance won't cover it? No, no cover this. Many on the island have no power, no clean water, and no gas for the generators. Relief supplies are getting in. Hey, strong man. Thank you, man. But the demand is huge. The idea of facing another hurricane with no roof overhead, that's not very enticing. Jeffrey Sokrin is an American we met who lives on St. Martin. We caught up with him by phone again today. You know, any type of rain, any type of wind um, that we have, as a result of Maria, will devastate uh, those that are already devastated further. The exodus that began on these islands after Irma has now kicked into overdrive. But for many, it's too late. On St. Croix, Ashley Buzianis and her family are getting out. This in that hour after we booked our flight, the remainder of the flights before Wednesday sold out. In Puerto Rico tonight, residents are gearing up for another big hit. Everybody's getting ready. We're getting ready. Stocking up on water and wood. Just one week after Hurricane Irma demolished parts of the Caribbean and tore through Florida. Now, two more hurricanes have formed, packing a one-two punch. It's going to be a big deal for Puerto Rico. Just off the Carolina shore, Hurricane Jose is whipping 90-mile-per-hour winds, creating dangerous currents as it barrels up the East Coast. On its heels, Hurricane Maria, strengthening as it heads straight for Barbuda, St. Martin, and the Virgin Islands, all trying to pick up the pieces in the aftermath of the Category 5 strike they faced just days ago. How critical are the next few days ahead for those places that have already been hit by Hurricane Irma? Well, they already have the mental anguish and the burden of trying to pick up uh, after Irma has gone through and now bearing down with Maria. Uh, there's so much in front of them right now, and still the season has 10 weeks to go. In Puerto Rico, the governor warning this hurricane could be even worse. Unfortunately, we've gotten now to the M storm. It's Hurricane Maria, which has been strengthening at a pretty steep pace throughout the day today, located to the uh, northeast of Barbados there, about 100 miles to the northeast of Barbados. Winds at 11 o'clock, 85 miles an hour, moving to the west-northwest at 13. It's Category 1, and you can see the wind field there. It's not large yet, but it is forecast to grow and strengthen as it moves forward into time. So let's show you the future track here. This is the latest from the National Hurricane Center, and the thinking is, is that because the shear in the atmosphere is very, very low out here, and the water is very, very warm, there's really nothing to restrain this hurricane from strengthening and strengthening quickly, so that it's most likely a Category 3 by the time it comes through the uh, islands there, the Leeward Islands. This is the time frame of tomorrow evening uh, right there. So uh, quickly strengthening hurricane to major hurricane status as it reaches the islands. And then in the Caribbean forecast to continue to intensify, Category 4, this time frame Tuesday evening, and then Category 4 with a very, if not on top of, approach to Puerto Rico, which would be horribly destructive. Uh, Puerto Rico has been, it's been a very, very long time, maybe since 1899, that they have had a Category 4 impact on the island there. So that's the Wednesday evening time frame. Beyond that, it's Thursday that it's in this general area here near the Dominican Republic, Hispaniola, and then on the Friday, it's in the Turks and Caicos in Southeast Bahamas. This tropical paradise is becoming a living hell.